Hello students, welcome to BTEC 360. Today, now we're going to discuss IIT Dhanbad, which is Indian School of Mines Dhanbad is what they call it. And the kind of cutoff that you need to get into IIT Dhanbad, the kind of courses that they offer, the kind of placement that they have, the kind of salaries that they have, all those things we're going to discuss here. Before I move any further, please subscribe to BTEC 360 if you've not already done that. It will be a single point source of information for you to get into the best BTEC college possible based on information, data and research. Right. And if you want to download all the IITs, we created a comprehensive guidebook of all the IITs, the placements, cutoff, salaries, companies, and all those things. Please go to the link below, click on that, register, and download the ebook. Talking of IIT Dhanbad at this point in time, so talking of IIT Dhanbad, what is it as an institution? If you look at that data, it was established in 1926, it's pre independence, right? Uh, it is an INI, which is an institution of national importance, spread over 218 acres of land. NRF ranking is 15th best engineering college in this country. The total students for, uh, which are doing, who are doing uh, UG four years is 3891, of which 80% are boys and 20% are girls, right? And 92% of the students come from outside the state where it, it is domiciled at this point in time. And the total faculty is 459, which is very, very good, which essentially means that you have a faculty of one for every eight students out there. Now, moving to the next level, we're talking of placements here. So that's what we, uh, is very, very important for you. So I, I try to put this together. When we look at data, we are only looking at data which is submitted to the government of India, not from a marketing brochure. So this is data that's submitted to NIRF, which is National Institutional Ranking Framework, which is a government of India thing. And this data is signed on an affidavit and submitted to government of India, which is where we're taking this data. It's not a marketing brochure data as much as it is filed in an affidavit. When we looked at that data, the total 927 students were admitted in 2024, of which 884 graduated, 714 were placed, and 33 moved for higher education, right? So when you look at that, 884 minus 33, we are talking about 851 students were required to be placed, of which 714 were placed, which is 83.9% or 84% placement. The, by the way, this is very realistic data that we are talking of. And the median salary is 12 lakh rupees. The median salary has fallen dramatically from what is 15 lakh rupees to 12 lakh rupees, which is a 20% fall. There is a fall of 20% in the median salary itself, while the placement itself fell from 95% to 84%. So in both senses, the, I think the data of IIT Dhanbad says there is some kind of pressure that is being built on IIT Dhanbad. Further going down, uh, when you look at the placement data of, of the students here, 84% of the students of CS were placed, 75% of minerals and metallurgical engineering were placed, 72.5% of mining machinery engineering is placed, 40.74, this is a very, very dramatic drop of civil engineering students were placed, and for petroleum engineering, it's 72.29%. So if you notice this, there seems to be a very clear case of how civil engineering is very, very underperforming at this point in time, at least in IIT Dhanbad. Now, when we look at the cutoffs, at what are the JE advanced rank that you need to get into uh, IIT Dhanbad and what branch will you get based on the kind of cutoff uh, you know, rank that you have? These are all category ranks. Right. When you look at that, for CS, general category 3585 is what will get you a CS branch in IIT Dhanbad. For EWS, category rank of 458 will get it. OBC 1311 category rank will get CS. SC 708 category rank will get you CS. And ST 318 category rank will get you CS. For BTEC Mathematics and Computing, it's 4335. I, again, I keep saying this to every student. If you're getting mathematics over the next four, five years, this will really take off because living in an age of AI where mathematics will play a big, big role. So if you're very interested in mathematics only, please do that. But this is a very good branch. In my opinion, over the next two, three years, this will be better than CS in a certain sense. Uh, 4335 for uh, Maths and Computing. For EWS, 566 category rank, 1628 category rank for OBC. 1074 as category rank for uh, you know, SC and 621 for ST for mathematics computing. Similarly for electronics, 5839 general, electrical engineering, 7603 general, and mechanical, 10273 general. When we looked at this data, the closing cutoff rank data that we had, we're talking of male gender. The reason why we had to do that is uh, the extra numeracy seats of the female were actually changing the data dramatically. So we needed to normalize the whole thing, which is what we did. And we also removed the disability. This data is anyway there in our comprehensive guidebook that I was talking about. Please download that and all data you'll have it there. Then uh, for engineering physics, 11,711. For chemical engineering, 11,980. 
for petroleum engineering 12709 for civil engineering 13778 for mineral and metallurgical is 14875 right and you also have the category ranks here for the other uh, you know categories also please look at that against the branch that you're talking of and please take a snapshot of this because it's very important for you to understand what rank will get into iit dhanbad if you want to study only in iit dhanbad and what branch will you get based on that and these are other branches that you have mining engineering remember iit dhanbad is specialized in a certain sense so mining engineering mining machinery you will actually have this kind of branches environmental engineering mining engineering and mba logistics and supply chain management so you actually have specialized because it comes from that place dhanbad right where there are a lot of mines and those kind of things and which is the reason why i keep talking of inis which is institution of national importance basically these institutions are supposed to create manpower for what is the need of the nation and that is where they called inis institutions of national importance right and that is where they created this course also the private institutions will not have the courage or conviction to create these courses also because for them it's not going to work out which is the government of india steps in and creates these kind of courses right and you actually have the category rank also for general category 15455 for mining engineering 16579 for mining machinery engineering uh, environmental engineering 16752 in mining engineering and mba logistics 16770 you also have the category ranks you can look at that very these are all je advanced category ranks again i repeat right what are the companies that come for placement Microsoft, Google, PwC, Goldman Sachs, Adobe, Amazon, all these things are there. But if you go further down, you actually have SR, Kane, uh, you know, you see some of these things, uh, you will actually understand that these are all uh, L&T, GSW, Sprinkler, these are all companies which are largely infra companies and those kind of things. You will actually have a lot of those companies coming in for placement here, Tata Motors, Tata Steel. So you actually have steel companies, you know, uh, engineering companies and those kind of companies coming in for placement here because the kind of courses that are offered at IIT Dhanbad are su such, right? When we looked at the LinkedIn profile, so there are a lot of students who obviously studied at IIT Dhanbad and have passed out. So on LinkedIn, there are 35,746 students who we found who studied at IIT Dhanbad. And when we looked at that data, we realized that about 73 of them are right now working in Deloitte. EY 40 are working. Google Qualcomm 78 are working. This is not the story. The story is the real story is here. When we looked at, you know, the trillion dollar companies in the world, where are they working? When you looked at that data, 38 of them are right now working in Meta. Uh, Apple 33 are working. 258 students who studied at, uh, you know, IIT Dhanbad are right now working in Amazon. 245 are working in uh, Microsoft. And Google 192 are working. So even the tech companies go there, though you actually have a large proportion of mining, manufacturing, and you know steel and infrastructure companies going there for placement. We've still not got data of that. We should have looked at that. So we'll hopefully come back to you with that data also at some point in time, right? The important thing that I'm saying is that IIT Dhanbad has companies coming from not just engineering and manufacturing and mining companies, but even tech companies are coming for placement, which is where we wanted to show you this data, right? Then we further looked at you know, how are the students who studied IIT Dhanbad, where are they placed globally? Where are they working? Are they in India, outside of India? When we look at that data, 90% of the students are in India, 10% are around the world. 10% are around the world, of which 4% which is 1,575 students are in the USA, 259 students are in UK, 242 are in UAE, 233 are in Canada, 179 are in Australia. And within this 90%, about 7,000, 6,000 students are in Jharkhand because obviously it comes from there, uh, you know, 15% from Dhanbad itself, about 9% in Kar uh, Karnataka. This obviously flows because many of the global corporations are housed in Karnataka, then followed by Mumbai and those kind of things. So you very clearly see a pattern of how the students who studied at IIT Dhanbad are placed in these companies. Now, what we're going to do is, we'll, uh, if you want me to cover any engineering college of your choice, please feel free, write a message to me here and I'll be happy to have our research team work on it and come back to you with this kind of data. But please do subscribe to BTEC360 if you've not already done that. This will be a single point destination for you to help you understand colleges better and make the right choices. Thank you so much. Namaste.